This is Mega Man The Wily Wars. This is for the Sega Genesis. Um, this is the first three Mega Man games, and then once you beat those, then you get to go to the Wily Tower. Uh, did not know about this game for a long time. There's a couple of differences in the first three games, and uh, we're not going to play over those games. I'm going to have to see which, um, which save file... Okay, this is the exact save file I wanted. Um, and I'll talk about some of the stages that I'm going through. I'm going to go to Buster Rod G stage. Um, one quick thing that you'll notice is on each of these stages, you get to pick out uh, weapons and items that you want to take from the first three Mega Man games. Um, you should always take uh, the Metal Blades from Mega Man 2. Uh, as with most things, they're probably one of the most useful weapons of the whole thing. And um, you can use them for different stuff. Now if you don't know what something is, just leave it on there and it'll tell you what it is. Um, let's see. Also, um, you might want to take the the rush jet for one of your items. Oscar, stop it. Oscar, stop it. Stop it. We have Oscar joining us here. I can't quite get anything. Here we go. Okay, now on the items, like I said, you may want to take um, the rush jet or item two, depending upon which one you like to use better. I, kind of like to use the rush jet um, and also I like to use um, item one and then uh, well the buttons are kind of weird on this so hang tight with me right here okay um, you want to use hyper bombs in this first stage and also, uh, Atomic Fire will also be another one that you can use. Okay. Um, Gemini Laser and Bubble Lead. Um, pick up Bubble Lead. Pick up Gemini Laser. I also find that, uh, yeah, we'll need the Crash Bomber as well. Um, let's see. And then for the other two spots, we're going to use... Um, probably use the uh, Spark Shock. And probably the Shadow Blade would be the two better things to use. And for another item, let's use... Let's take item... Well, no, wait a minute. Let's take the Rush Coil. Okay. So after you picked what you want for the stage, it takes you right to a stage. And we're going to save as soon as we get here. One thing that you're going to notice is you're going to notice that each of these stages takes... Uh, enemies from the first three Mega Man games and what it is is when you're playing the first three Mega Man games like number two number two does not give you any any choice when you play it a uh, difficulty level you have to do the the um, difficult difficulty level here in the states so you don't get to choose easy um, there's some differences in the way the games play though on the first three but once you beat the first three and you save each of them as you can beat them and you can save them that way you'll get this Wily Tower that opens up and of course Wily taunts you he says you know oh. we're, we're not done yet you know blah 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 and then he gives you you know as you've seen the three uh, the three robot masters that you saw on that uh, on that little detailed uh, thing there. 
as you'll also see I'm trying to use the Mega Buster the Mega Buster is not uh, you cannot use it at this point because obviously this is not number four and um, you know the Mega Buster didn't come in until Mega Man 4 of course so if you're wanting to use it you're just out of luck now I wanted this to be a one part playthrough but I don't think it's going to be a possibility because I think there's four Wily stages even after the three bosses and we're going to have to use save states because um, I don't 100% know the stages I mean I know the enemies don't you know don't get that wrong I know that I know what kind of enemies are going to be facing me but I don't know you know I don't per se know you know the hazards and everything I've only been through this one time so this is this is pretty much my second time playing through um, these stages so this is it's it's well, it's, it's not 100% new to me because I went through them. Also on this game, it seems like these enemies take so much damage where they didn't before. Uh, you might just want to take a couple hits and get through there because that, that's just a pain in the butt. But as you can tell, there's enemies from Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 on here. And... Uh, you know, like I said, in the three stages, they'll let you choose what weapons you want. Most of the time, you'll keep the same weapons uh, because the ones I picked are the most likely to be the most useful to you anyway. Metal blades for all the stages because you just, you can use those for so many different things. See, these guys take a lot more shots than they used to. You see, I about slid and I about, and I caught myself sliding off the, and I didn't catch myself there. And the controls a little stiff on these two. Things are, good gosh, on mercy. The controls are a little bit stiff and they're a little bit, um, good gosh, oh mercy, I done fell in a pit like three or four times. Maybe I should just stand there and just take the wailing he's about to give me instead of trying to move around. There we go. This is where you want to take your crash bombs. See, he kind of, he does this jerky motion. This is your item select screen. And if you're going to play throughout the whole game, you, you just get used to it. Because that thing's a pain in the butt. The other three games, like I said, besides people taking more hits, the, the games being a little bit harder and stuff like that, um, you know, you do what you you do what you normally do. You know, you go through the games, those guys take way too many hits right there. Okay, so we got an E-Tank, so that's good. Some of the enemies move slower, and that that's a good thing, somewhat, with some of them, because some of them are some of them are hard to kill. So them being a little bit slower is um, it's a good thing. Of course, the metals don't move any slower; they still come out like the same speed. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna fight. Um, Buster Rod G. Um, they say hit him with hyper bombs, charge atomic fire shots, also do a trick. 
Gemini laser and the bubble lead will work. So basically, you can use anything we brought in here. But we're going to try to use the Hyper Bombs. Also labeled under B.O. Okay? Yeah, I know how weird that sounds. B.O. I don't really remember what this guy does. I know he's ticking me off. Well, that was a dirty trick. I didn't like that at all. And he's dead. Well, he's not dead. You'll face him again a little bit later. As you see, he's down to one one uh, piece of life, but he runs away. There's nothing you can do about that. That's just what he does. Um, this is where you can save the game. But we're going to save our own game. So we're going to go after Mega Water S next. Yeah, we're going to do our own save. Because I don't It's kind of stupid. Um, let's see. They want you to take the Ice Slasher and the bombs in this stage. And of course the Metal Blades. And the Hard Knuckle. So... Let's get rid of the bubble lead, and we'll get the ice slasher. Um, keep the hyper bombs that we have and the metal blade, and we'll trade this heat out for the uh, for the hard knuckle, which is this one. And you might just want to keep the other ones you have in there. Um, the other ones might be good enough. To, uh, it says Ice Slasher works best on him. Um, Hyper Bombs also do decent damage or easier to throw. And you want Metal Blades and Hard Knuckles. And we're just going to keep the bottom ones and the items that we have. And we're just going to go into a stage like that. That way, uh, don't have too much problem. I kind of like the music in this stage a little bit. The one thing I don't like about the stage is it's an underwater stage, and boy, you guys know how much most of us just really love underwater stages. Especially underwater with spikes. Yeah! You have to be careful with that jump up on up to that platform. And then you have to be careful with your jumps the rest of the stage. I don't think that was actually a jump, but I jumped it anyway. You can shoot that from over here, really. I'm having a problem with my trajectory on my jumps. Usually that necessarily wouldn't be a problem, but it's, uh, it's becoming an issue at the moment. Now, these things, these shrimp things that we're killing, usually they're, they're part of a fish. This fish takes more shots to the head than they normally do, and they don't blink to let you know you're hitting. And I'm just going to run away from these things, because I just do not got the time to deal with that. Actually, I don't know if it's that I don't have the time to deal with it as much as I don't have the patience to deal with it. Yeah, you got to make a, almost a perfect jump right there. Not too high, not too low. I made one of each. Ow.
I think it's used a crash bomb on this door. No, it does not. Maybe it's a hard knuckle then. Yes, it's a hard knuckle that it uses. And you have to do that jump like that. That's kind of an awkward jump to have, but oh well. I see now there's another E tank over here. Don't worry too much about lives. You got like eight or nine to begin with anyway. So it's not. Now these idiots are going to come back and. Ah, huh. Well, they went on. Okay, well, two E tanks for me. You may not even have to use the E tanks. Tell you what, I'm taking some unnecessary abuse at the hands of the the robots here. And one up, unless you just really need it. I wouldn't even attempt to grab it. Let's see, there's that big fish off of the second one. These are supposed to be shorter stages. I don't really think they're shorter stages. Until he shoots him again, and then we'll go up there and shoot him. There we go. You know, the background in this stage kind of reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog in the Green Hill Zone. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've made it to the boss. Um. As it suggests, we're going to use the Ice Slasher to see if that uh, does him in. It's kind of weird, though, that um, um, it's kind of weird that uh, the Ice Slasher would work on a water and I forgot how he fights, too. So I might die once, but He's dead. Well, that wasn't much of anything. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for the Hyperstorm H. This is the last boss before the Wily stages. Um... Crash Bombs and Hyper Bombs both do decent damage. I have both of them on there. The Spark Shock is easy to use. Um, you can beat them with your arm cannon, it says. If you have hard knuckles, you can try for a suicide one-up. Um, we're not going to do that, though. Um, I don't know that we're actually going to have to switch weapons here. Um, I think most of the stuff that we have is probably going to do fairly well. Um, like I said, they say Crash Bombs, Hyper Bombs, and Spark Shock. And we got all those. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. We'll use what we got. Oh, there's those. You know, I've never seen Hammer Joe as a really, like, a bad enemy, like a traditional bad guy. It's kind of like he's kind of there to, you know, train, you know. These things are 
time oriented and it crap crap okay takes a minute you have to be you have to be just wary of anything in this in these stages because it's all enemies from one two and three and it's hard to tell what you might face so you just got to be ready for whatever comes about I hate this part I hate this part so bad you have to jump up there especially if you don't need the life Okay. Got a lot of Hammer Joes in this area. Again, they're not hard to kill, they just. They're more like a training exercise. Do your training wheels on your tricycle! Oh my. Uh, let's see if I can actually get through that without getting hit. Yes, I can. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, these are the things from Gemini Man's stage, I think. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. And you're probably going to hear the dogs here in a minute. Charlie and Oscar have joined us. Ah, poop. Uh oh. Okay. I got to figure out how to get under this large mechanical. Okay. That's good enough. Good enough. Oh, no. I hate these things. See if I can get by him without taking a hit there. Maybe. Oh, I don't like these either. These are these are dastardly. Oh gosh. It's like, why would you put that there? It's not snow. Oh, I was wondering where the enemy was. I was like, I don't see an enemy, but I bet you there's one there. Okay. Um, do we want to see where this goes? We might. This must be the suicide one up they were talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm not that hard up for a one up. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Might not be a hundred percent smart, but I ain't, I ain't doing that part of it. No, sir. Okay, I fell right into that. Sometimes you feel like you have to push the arrows a little bit harder to get to where you want to go. Okay, now what did it say to use this against this guy? Crash bombs and hyper bombs? Well... Let's jump down there, shall we? By the way, this is the only robot master I know of that gets two life bars! I didn't realize he does that.
Probably should have used those to begin with. He doesn't seem to like them. They give him indigestion. He needs pepto -bismol. Okay, he did. Okay. Um, there's four of these, and you can change weapons. Uh, take the mail blade to each stage. Um, there's no reason not to. Um, I think we're going to try to go through most of it. We'll see what we can do here. <clears throat> Beep, 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 beep. Take the Crash Bomber for an energy tank and the Super Arm for a 1-Up, which is the Guts Man weapon, but we don't want the 1-Up. We already got the Crash Bomber. Water Ice weapons for the boss. Um, You may grab... The bubble lead just for it because it says water ice weapons are the way to go. Um, ice slasher is your best bet. The bubble lead will do decent damage, but hitting with it is hard to do. Um, I think I had problems with this thing the first time I faced it. I don't remember. The inside of the ship is pink. Oh well. Whatever you want to do, I guess. You want to make stuff stand out? No. <laughs> well, pink and brown. You can shoot these guys down if you feel that it's necessary. You're probably going to have to at least shoot this one and this next one down. Four stages are really short. I think it's all the other ones. Till then. Oh y'all! Oh my goodness! So you can freeze those and whoa, hello! Is this why I have crash bombs? Yes, this is why I have crash bombs. Okay. They're not for the boss, that's for sure. Ba -ba 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 Boom! I love how it just blows up the entire wall. So much... Oh, crap. I didn't go high enough with the weapon. I assume this will lead me to a... See, that's another thing. You can't switch until the weapon's done with its little boom, 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 boom thing. Ow. Eh. Okay. Yeah, it's a small battery, but that's okay. Oh my. Well, guys, I got lucky there. I, oh my gosh, oh mercy. I did not hit the button to slide. <laughs> I did get lucky enough to dodge a bullet to the head. And dodged it twice. Oh, I hate these things so bad. See, I've got the rush jet if I need it, and item one if I need them. If I need them. Wow, that just was really bad. Okay. Well. No. No, no, no. 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 No.
I hit the jump button, by the way. He just didn't go anywhere. Ah, forget it. I'll just use the rush jet. Well. Thought I would use the rush jet. Apparently, I won't use the rush jet. Unless I go back over to the wall over there. Oscar. No! Oscar! No! Oscar, stop it! Stop. Stop. No, stop! Well, I'm trying to figure out a jump pattern right here, but they're not bringing it down for me to jump on. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. We got up there. Finally. Up there. I don't need that one up. You would have had to have the super arm to do that. Uh-oh. Blocks. Okay. That looks like just a mismatch of just garbage. Um. You know, I don't. I don't really know here. I don't. Okay, I think I know where I'm supposed to go now. I think I know. I'm not sure that I know, but I think I know. There we go. I bet you there's another room just like it. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I didn't think that was a possibility, guys. And it was not. Okay, I think I know what I want to do here. I know what I want to do, but now am I going to get to do it is the problem. You want to jump here, and then jump here, and then here, and then here. Okay. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no, this is a lot of trouble. You see my cousin, his favorite things are uh, those, well not only the blocks, but those other things on there. He likes those too, those little platforms. <laughs> Water ice weapons, ice, ice slasher. Uh, we're gonna use safe states here because I, if I remember correctly, this boss is a little bit difficult. Because this thing's a stinking spring. And it stinks badly. I 
And the bad thing is, it goes slow. I should have not got a hit right there, I'm thinking. You gotta be careful the way you move on this stupid platform. I hate this stupid freaking boss. I believe I'm gonna run out of Ice Slasher. I do believe. Nope, Ugh. I had just enough. I had just enough Ice Slasher. Um, I believe we might have to cut off the stream right here and come back and do the other uh, the other three stages. So let's get to the second stage. Let's get all of our weapons ready, and then we'll um, uh, we'll save once we get to the stage, and then we'll come back. Okay. Be prepared for water, metal blades, and the crash bomber. Um. I already have both of those. The boss is a bouncing ball. Luckily, this thing bounces high enough that you can usually slide underneath it. Um, it can only be damaged when it shows its ugly face. I happen to have the Thunder Beam, and that was very useful, especially since you can also hit it with a beam when it's above you. So, you're going to... I would probably get rid of the Bubble Lead and get the Hyper Beam, or the Thunder Beam, as he says. Well, that's basically what it is. So we'll take what we got into the stage with us. Um, yeah, we'll take those. Yeah. It's nice to let you switch each um, each stage, what you're gonna have. So um, we'll save right there. We'll come back and part two will be the other three stages of this, um, of this and uh, we'll finish this Wally Tower that we're in. So, until part two, we will see you later.